Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns with me, Barden. So being so close to to this den um, with all the like BTL chips and other types of chips around the place, seems that like when playing havoc with soda pops, um, cyberware, and she had this kind of weird experience, as if she died, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, and now she's here to meet Coyote. She's in, she's got this kind of premonition of the future and something not to do. So, you know, she's, she's going to pay attention to that. But because we did actually die, <clears throat> um, we're going to go through all the, the um, conversations that we've had before already uh, quickly. So let's just go no sweat there and then Good job, thank you. Um, off we go, right. And something I should definitely do is we have lots of karma to spend. So I'm gonna spend the karma. So I'm gonna go with body for six. Uh, quickness as well. Then I want some dodge. We can't go into strength. We can go into close combat though. Let's do that and confirm that. There we go. Thank you. So that should make things a little bit easier for us. Then we'll chat with this chap here. Okay, so we know make our way down through this. And then just let me in. Cheers, buddy. In we pop. Right, so we talk to her again. Okay, cheers for your help now. The last time we tried to speak to uh, J Jamal and that didn't work out well. So I'm going to try Charlie. We, there are probably options with him that don't end up attracting everyone, but uh, I'm going to try Charlie. Charlie's an orc with an expression of boredom and one milky eye. He draws through a standard patter. Need a pass, 50 new yen. 150 new yen for the Ladia. That'll let you come in and Come and go as you please. You can chip in there and we'll keep you safe while you ride. BTL chips are separate costs. Last about three hours. Prices vary. Yada, yada, yada. Buy those inside. Okay. Uh, we could sucker punch him. That'd get another fight. I don't want to do that. We could just pay, but we can actually... Apparently we can intimidate him, but not this guy. Okay. So fix him with a stare. I don't think we need passes. Do you? His one good eye wavers. No, nope, I'm good. Uh, see you on the way out. Cheers. So we avoid that fight. It's going to hopefully help us in the long run then. So let's go. Keep on moving across the bridge. Cheers. Right, let's get ourselves inside here then. Okay. And we can get things going. No civilian casualties. Certainly try our best. Okay. He's gonna try and make a stance. Right, so start by attacking you. Oh, we should have switched. And then it's into attack her as well. Okay, good. Here. Um, 44. She's a chiphead woman. 99 on you. I don't like any of those options. Um, guns more accurate. Let's shoot you. 
Miss. Okay. Oh, wow. Seriously, he just hit her for 24 damage. Okay. Well, let's switch to this. Attack you. Okay, that's you done. Then Soda Pop's gonna move there. Want you to go deal with him. Okay, miss. The coyote, you're still relatively okay. Let's move you here. He did the same to you. He didn't. Thank God he missed. Okay, that guy missed as well. And she missed too. Right. Now here come those guys. And the other mage. And then this. She's a shaman, I guess. I thought she was a street shaman. I think. Okay. So now. We have concussion grenade that we could use. To, uh, that would not be good actually. To be hitting her as well. So you try to take him out. Okay, good. He's gone. And then this bodyguard dude as well. Okay, that was good. Then Soda Pop. Gonna go with the concussion grenade. There? You shouldn't hit her, right? Okay, minus one AP for both of them. You're then gonna try concussion grenade those to center it on you. Okay, good. Oh wow, someone actually hit. Oh, ow. Oh man. you shoot okay, and then shoot again oh out of ammo not good turn that okay. should have been using this on him more often okay. let's shoot you beautiful and then again gone. Wow, they're doing a number on her. There they are. Okay, she's back. He's healed her. And then that was in her. Okay. And then there's another one up there. Okay. Right, so... Let's start with her shoot you oh miss wow he's right in front of you okay you can kill him sort of pop ooh you only have a regular grenade this time can be good use that on her then Okay, then uh, uh, you keep shooting this dude. Nice, get to the BTL computer. You're right there, buddy. Force me and the puppet BTL. 
Okay, so they're not going to attack us anymore. So we just need to deal with these three now, is that right? Okay, so one each. We go kill him. Excellent. And then go help attack her. Beautiful. Then you can shoot her. And again. Oh, no more ammo. Okay. Reload. You can shoot there. Beautiful. And then again. Excellent. Missed. And missed. Okay. Hit you. And again. You're done. There. Shoot in. Ah, uh, that was a misclick. Okay. Reload. Okay, done. Gino, Gino. Where are you, Gino? Ah, you are here. Okay. One karma gained. Talk to Gino. Ejective ETL, Gino's been riding. He gasps suddenly and his eyes flutter open. He looks confused, worse than the other chip heads you've seen. His lips are white and chapped. His eyes sunk into, into his head. There's vomit on his shirt and sweat on his forehead. When he speaks, his words are slurred. He's burnt. They don't look all that similar, I have to say. Wasn't maybe a little bit. What? What the, what the hell? Who slandered me out? Who frankly slandered me out? Jody's shaking. She looks horrified. Gino, it's, it's me. It's Carla. Gino looks at her with glazed eyes. No recognition. Slam me back in, goddammit. This is bullshit. I don't want to be here anymore. Slam me back in. He looks around the room angrily. His hands reaches for his implant. Cody grabs his wrist, stops him. Gino, no. Coyote, be careful. Gino wrenches his wrist from Coyote's grasp. He staggers back, reaches under his shirt and pulls out a gun. Coyote watches him, horrified, with tears in her eyes. Gino waves it around, blinking wildly. Back off! Just back the hell off! Take it easy, Gino. We're backing off. He presses his hands to the side of his head, his fingers still on the trigger, squints. What the hell is wrong with you people? We're trying to help you. This is the way you helped me? Look at this place. Look at me. He looks around at the squalor of the room, then glimpses his own reflection in the machine. Oh God, look at me. There are drugs that can help you, Gino. You can go slow. He looks at Coyote, looks at you. We'll, we'll go slow. He drops the gun and Paco quickly scoops it up. Coyote grabs him fiercely. He slumps into her arms and she rocks with him for a long time. Her head buried in his shoulder. When she looks up, she locks eyes with you. The deepest gratitude reflecting on her face. We're done here. I'm done. I don't need to step foot in one of these places ever again. Whew, we did it. <laughs> Shannon's plan is the best is the best lead you've got to find out more about the Ripper. But getting back into the warehouse is going to require some support in case the Drek hits the pan. Seamstress's union will have exactly what you need, a fixer. Finding this necessarily middleman and deal broker is key to most plans involving Shadowrunners. Good fixers worth the new end. It's their job to have the contacts and know who's good at what. They'll put together the team you need, magical support, skilled street samurai for muscle, or a Nova Hot Decker for matrix work. Running the shadows is a life and death gamble. It pays to hire the best shadow runners you can. Okay, cool. So, um, we've got 
got bang grass there. I'm not sure we have anything. Oh, cherry bomb. Cherry bomb flags down as you walk through the door. Hey, soda pop, there's a woman looking for you. Jessica something? She's waiting for you by the stage. Bellevue type, wouldn't order anything, won't touch anything. I think she's afraid of diseases or something. Thanks, Cherry. No charge, Chummer. Why is the bar so empty? We don't get much action in the early afternoon. Just a few salary men slumping, slumping tourist bill and hoping to talk to Madam Sinful and some diehard regulars. Madam Sinful? That's what the downtown folk call Mrs. Kubota. It's a tourist bill thing. They like her to have a naughty name like that. Who's around? I just got in, but I think Coyote's cleaning the back bar. Uh, Mr. Delilah is hanging out in his usual place. The vendors downstairs came in a few minutes after me. Oh, and Bartlett's here. Don't think you've met him yet. Who's Bartlett? John Bartlett. Uh, big presence at the end of the bar. He's in the biz. Connected. You might want to meet him. Is that guy still bothering you? You mean my ex, Shane? Yeah. No, I, he hasn't been in since that last time. No calls or pages or handwritten notes either. Weird. He was so persistent. I guess he finally got the message. Maybe he'll find someone in that universal brotherhood of his and settle down. I'm going to have a look around. Shane might be dead. Just maybe think about that. Have fun. Okay. Um, I guess you didn't hear the bit about Shane might be dead. <laughs> okay, let's... Van Grass, I don't think we need to talk to you, but we'll see. I'm very busy. You show me something worth my time or you walk away? Uh, I guess. Oh, yeah, we do. Not the from the ST NTSB. Renraku would pay to keep it quiet. And Ares would pay to know what it is. I got 800 New Year for something like that. Oh, if we got Etiquette's... We'll need to get that then. Etiquette's Shadowrunner. Uh, I'll think about it. Don't think too long. Info like this has ex expiration date. Okay. Now. Uh, we have four points. We probably could get that etiquette. Dodge, strength, throwing, intelligence. Using, using decking and rigging to calculate the chance to hit. Okay. Oh, willpower, spell casting, chi casting, charisma. Unlock etiquettes. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. New etiquette. Confirm. Oh, we didn't actually spend it. Shadow on her, please. Thank you. And then we have two more we can spend. Chi casting, what would that do? Use to calculate the chance to control spirits, increase the chance to hit with conjuring spells, unlock etiquettes that affect conversations. Okay, let's confirm that then. Oh, again, we didn't actually spend it. Right. Right, all done. Now let's talk to you again. Yes, please. 1,000. <laughs> as long as you keep bringing in stuff like this, sure. Cheers, buddy. Now let's see what you're all about, John Bartlett. Full of life with a quick smile, the man tilts his head and watches you approach. Hey, lady, what's shaking? A little of this, a little of that. I hear that, Omei. I might have something for you if you got the new yen. Time is money. I'm listening. You ever heard of the Nephilim Network? Of course you have. And in the no lady like you has to have heard of the premier Merc team out there. Uh, if you say so. We're a tight unit. We cost a bit more than the common rabble, but we're worth it. Okay. Interesting to know. Let's go talk to, this must be Jessica here. Go talk to you. 
At a glance, you can tell that Sam's sister Jessica is from a different world, the opposite of Sam in almost every way. Her suit is tailored, her eyes are sharp, and her style exudes authority. Miss Watts? Jessica Watts? She eyes you up and down warily. She does a good job of hiding it, but it's clear that she is well outside of her comfort zone. Yes, and you are. Sort of pop, I'm looking into your brother Sam's death. I was told as much on the phone. A woman who called herself Coyote contacted me this morning to inform me that my brother was dead and that I should come to this place and speak to someone about an investigation. Sam didn't die of natural causes. He was murdered. She briefly casts her eyes skyward then gives a small shake of her head. I wish I could say it's a shock, but given the circles he ran in, Sam hasn't run the shadows in years. If you say, but even so, look at this place, these people, and you. She then furrows her brow, regarding you more critically. You're not the police, are you? No, I'm not. That a problem? Her frown grows more pronounced. No, it's just that I don't want anyone else getting hurt on account of my brother. Surely there is an official police investigation going on? Why not let the professionals handle this? I am a professional. But you must have better things to do than waste your time searching for whoever killed my low-life brother. First, Sam was my friend. And second, I'm being paid for my trouble. She seems genuinely surprised. Someone's paying you? I find it hard to believe that anyone who really knew Sam would put up the money. Who is it? Actually, Sam heard me himself. I don't understand. It's called a dead man switch. It triggers when he died. Am I to believe that my drunken sot of a brother hired you to find the person who killed him after he died? Her border mask drops momentarily, and in a sigh she reveals a brief glimpse of real emotion. I left Seattle to get away from Sam and his bullshit. Now I'm back, he's dead, and I still have to deal with him. Jessica composed herself, and her breath, the mask is back in place. Listen to me, soda pop. You seem like a decent person, but I'm trying to move on with my life. Our mother killed herself last year, and Sam, well, Sam was Sam, you know. I've worked so hard to put my life issues behind me. I don't want to see this drag on. I'm closing in. I can feel it. I just don't know that I can take it. The waiting. The worrying. Please reconsider. Your brother had my back when I needed him. I can't walk away from this. Are we talking about the same man? My brother was worthless, Soda Pop. Worthless. He used people. He... She sighs. She's done. Never mind. I can see that you are not going to let this go, and I respect that you are honoring my brother's memory in your own way. But I hope you can understand how emotional this is for me. Jessica's demeanor instantly changes from reluctant to helpful in the span of a single meditative breath. Maybe you can do things in a way that the police can't, and maybe I can help. What do you need from me? When was the last time you saw or spoke to Sam? It's been ages. I can't even remember. The bartender here recalled Sam complaining about arguments with his sister. I don't know what to say. Maybe he dwelled on the past when he was in his cups. He's, we certainly argued enough when we were younger. Where were you on the night of Sam's murder? I will overlook the implied accusation and tell you that I was at a fundraiser all evening. A very crowded fundraiser. Did Sam have any enemies? Sam's biggest enemy was Sam. I don't know any of the others. You would likely know better than me these days. Were you and your brother close? I think I've made my feelings about Sam pretty clear. Don't you? You don't seem to care whether he, his killer faces justice. Of course I want justice. I can't let him drag me down again. Yeah, let's show her the picture of her and Sam's children. Jessica takes a photo from you guardly, as if it might sting her. But that guard drops the moment she looks at it. Where, where, where did you find this? Sam's bunk. I can't believe he kept this. 
It was one of the few possessions she had. She studies the old photo for several silent moments. What happened between the two of you? Things were different back then. We were different. We were a family. Then after our father died, things began to change and we couldn't get back to a new normal. With our dad around, there was always a reassuring order to our lives. But after, everything got mixed up. You can never really appreciate the importance of a person in your life until they're gone. The remorse plays wet across her eyes, and it seems that she's not just talking about her father. Jessica steals herself to tell the rest. Sam tried to be the man of the house, he truly did, but he couldn't handle it. And pretty soon he had spent every dime of her father's life insurance. Every dime. After that was gone, with mom working two, three jobs, he spent all her money too. I couldn't stand the way he abused her trust. So finally, I just had to leave. She holds the photo forward, one part of her ready to relinquish it, along with the past, another looking to hold on to both. May I keep this? Um, sure, I got one I need from it. Thank you. Tell about your mother and her death. She was a devout Catholic. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that she was sacrificed. She sacrificed her life for Sam and me. But she turned a blind eye to what Sam was becoming, refused to acknowledge his downward slide. I couldn't watch her do it anymore, and so I moved out. After I left, we drifted farther and farther apart. I wasn't here when she died. In fact, I didn't even know about it until I returned to Seattle five months ago. Where were you living before you moved back here? Cal Free, what brought you down there? It was less of what brought me there than what made me leave here. I felt lost in Seattle, so I moved to California to see if I could find myself. And did you? Actually, yes. While I was there, I developed a whole new outlook on life, a vision for what the world could become. I, make, I came back here to help make it happen. I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Miss Watts. Just as well. I need to get back to the office. But before I go, you should know that I am re reinterring my mother's body tomorrow, and I'm arranging to have Sam buried with her. The funeral is tomorrow at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, 7 o'clock. You're more than welcome to attend. Thanks. Goodbye, Soda Pop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stay safe. Okay, you too. Okay, so we get some karma out of that. Let's come around here. So we want to have a chat with Mr. Delilah. If you are talking to me, there is business to transact. Am I right? Of course you're right. It's your job to be right. This is correct. You are a smart lady. Who can I, what can I do for you, smart lady? I need to put a crew together. You got scratch or you plan to pay me out of your earnings? I can pay the runners up front. Excellent. We agree on the terms. I've got some runners on call if you've got any special requests. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's see him. Okay, so these are some of the people we can pick. So we have a couple of adepts, a human and a dwarf. We've got um, a couple of deckers. Okay, so let's get a decker. Okay, and then one more person. We get a mage, we get a rigger, samurai, or shaman. Um, adepts. I don't want an adept. Uh, we already have a shaman. A mage? Mm. We don't want a rigor. We get another samurai. Mm. Let's see. Okay. 
Shaman and she's a decker. Right, let's get a mage. So let's go for her. Right, and confirm. Yep, we'll do that. You return to the docks to meet Chan and Half Sky. Although the Ripper's latest victim was her brother, but Chan appears cool and professional, consummate runner by birth, if not by trade. She'll get the job done, and hopefully, one of the hurt spells in this place can point you towards the Ripper. Dealing with spirits can be tricky business, but when they deliver, it's pure platinum. One doesn't have to be an Amer Amer Amerindian um, shaman to summon and control spirits. Anyone with magic talent can do it, but Shannon seems to have a particular connection to the spirit world. As you approach the gate, you know something's not right. The docks are already strange and uncomfortable at night, triggered the need for caution. Then you see it. The guards are missing, and the gates have been smashed in. Okay, so someone has come in to maybe clean something up. Right, so equipment, um, decks, drones, weapons, all. So we don't really have a stash, unfortunately. Um, let's just go with what we have. Okay, we've got an karma. We have some karma. Um, we have two. So what can I improve with two? Melee weapon. Yeah, let's see that. Critical damage percentage visible. Okay. Confirm that. About time you showed up. Looks like we weren't the only ones who wanted to take advantage of the situation. A bunch of mercs have locked down the area. I don't think they're here for us, though. My guess is there's something worth a bit of coin left in that warehouse. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Well, it was for Lone Star. They're all dead. Hope you're a better shot than they are. I hope so, too. Right. Um... We have to keep Shannon alive with the break in. So let's go. Wait. Oh, I thought we were actually in the compound. We're not. Let's go up here. Oh, hi there. Huh? Y you there. This block is off limits. There's a. We got a gas leak on the docks here. No loitering. This guy doesn't look like one of the hard mercenaries. Hey, uh, are you even listening? Get out of here. Aha, nice. Really, guy? They aren't paying you enough, especially not once Lone Star sends a response team. Frag, I knew she was lying. Told me they jammed all the Lone Star channels. Damn it, I'm out. Okay, so he runs off. Let's try to get in. Oh, hi there. Okay, I guess we got to deal with them first. Let's put you in cover. And then... Uh, not really a great chance to shoot, because we're not really good at shooting, but... Let's try. Miss. Fine. Okay, now... Put her there, and then so the force to nature element. Okay, elemental. Let's put it there then. And then it can move up. Now you got it. Pistol 44 56. 
on you. Missed. Okay. And then you're the magic lady, so you go there. And let's try hit him. Okay, good. He's weak. Okay, and he missed. There's someone else back there as well. Oh, there. Okay. Right. Let's get you. Move. Or oh, these things can escape us. That would not be good. You try hit this guy. Thank you. Now. Uh, next then is you. Let's try hit the big guy. Good hit. Then I want you to move up. To where though? Here for now, I guess. Seven on him. Good to go. Okay, missed again. I'm gonna hold fire with you. You can move to there for now. And then 88 percent. And what else do you have? One. And one two. Okay. Let's try the magic again. And the big dude. Can't miss. Right. Um. Chance to hit are just ridiculously bad. Okay. So you move as far as there. Ow. Right. Nice. Doing what your best at. Okay, he's almost dead. And we knocked him out too. Beautiful. Right. You okay. go after them. Do some amount of damage. Just then gonna try and shoot you. Missed. Fine. Okay. We move to here. 65 on you. 43. Okay. Let's try shoot you. Nice. He's gone. And the mage lady can get me to cover. Try to miss. Okay. Oh, he's a, a shaman as well, I guess. Okay. Kill you. go attack him. Nice. Now, next is you. No. Uh, one two. You. Into there. Just gonna take the pot shot at him. 
Oh, wow. That was worth it. And then, let's not cover. Wait. Yeah, that's not cover. So you just pot shot as well. Miss. <coughs> okay. And then try again. You missed coming back. Oh wow, you didn't miss. Right. Now let's start with her on you, sixty one percent. Okay. Then reload on that. Then this guy you go keep her busy. Missed. Let's go put you down. Okay. You move up. And I want you to get all the way up there. Right. some other rounds in here first, so. You go here. And then chop. Okay. Then our mage friend. 36% chance to hit from there. Let's give it a go. Missed. And then try again. There we go. Nine damage. Uh, soda pop. Let's try it. Oh, missed. Okay. It's not going to turn out well for you, I don't think. Um, I'm going to bring you up as far as here. So I think it's just turned against. Yeah, it's turned against us now. So we need to kill you. Okay, thank you. We we'll grab that. Now we need to kill this thing. Thirty-one percent chance to hit you. Let's give it a go. Yes. Again, missed, right. Fourteen, really? How about you? Fifty one percent chance. Six damage. Missed. Right. Forty seven. Good. And then if we hit again, it's gone. There we go. Okay. As soon as the last mark hits the ground, the ducks become eerily silent. Okay. How much power do we have now? Four. That could be good. Let's spend some quickness. Range combat. Do you dodge at the moment? Close combat, we need another one. Melee weapon. Armor strike. Only AP damage. Critical damage percent. Visible. Oh, we didn't do that then. Let's, let's do that. And then let's get inside. So what we're we gonna find in here? 
You head inside the darkened warehouse with Shannon. Her eyes have that far off gaze associated with looking into the astral plane. When the world changes, the Native American tribes made a resurgence as well, demanding a place in the new world. They got it. The Salishid Council now represents 8.6 million Amer Amerindians across a multitude of tribes. Salish, Maka, Sinsirach, and others. They've adapted to the awakening better than other nations, thanks to a deeper connection to the world, both physical and spiritual. You can see that connection alive in Shannon now. You notice a shift in her focus as she returns to the present. She nods to you. She can sense the spirits in this place. Now you just need to find them. Okay. Right, so now we kind of understand a bit better that there's definite um, uh, drawbacks or dangers in actually summoning so we have two shadow runners. They probably have friends somewhere. There's a dead person there. Right. Just get straight in and attack, I guess. Good idea. Yeah, I think so. So let's give you a bit of a surprise. Go, lady. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you to there. You can summon one more. We're gonna keep that in our pocket for now. Okay, miss. Two more dudes turned up. Oh, three more turned up. Okay. Wait. Let's hit you. Okay, and then we're gonna wait to see what we're gonna do with this. Now, we might want to summon this thing now. We've got a lot of enemies to deal with, so let's summon it right here so keep this guy busy okay and then you attack there and come back to sort of up you need to shoot that guy and you're gonna go here then I want you to shoot this dude Again. And then, then as well. And again. Right. One miss. Ooh, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, well, minus one AP is bad, actually. Okay, he missed, but he's busy. So you first, 99% to hit him, let's try that, okay, hit, and then again, oh, she only gets one turn, got that, and now we're not in a great position, so let's move over there, 40% on him, not good. Sixty-one on him is better. Seventy-three on him is great, though. Let's go for you. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit him as well. Oops. Okay. Now, please don't break free. Now 
you go and... No, we need this guy still. He can move next turn. Ow! Jesus! I'm gonna check to see how... Do you have any healing items? You do. Okay. Use that on yourself. Okay. And then shoot into him. Oh. Shit. Okay. Was relying on her. We have to do a lot of damage there. Uh, let's wait on that. You shoot into him. Okay, and then we're running out of options here. Damage, good. Okay, he's done. Then you next. Don't go crazy. Go that guy busy. So the pop. Now hit him. Oh, nice. Kill him. Do we want to stand beside a guy who's gonna hit us? Not right now. So, oh, let's go here. Oh, he didn't actually go for it. Okay. Now, so the pop. You're gonna do that twice. First, I want to shoot in. 40% chance. Uh, okay, let's just try. Okay, nice. Okay, 21 damage from that. Okay, we took away one AP. And he's almost dead. You to move up. And I want you to move up as well. Where to? Now let's just try and hit him. Got two chance. There we go. He's dead. Nice. Okay. And then is there someone else we need to kill? move you here oh maybe it's this thing but that thing's okay right well let's end combat oh we can't okay so there must be other enemies here somewhere let's pop in here might be down that way then so start moving over here Not a problem anymore. And bring you over as far as we can. And bring you in here. Okay, and now let's open the door 
you. Okay, put you there. Uh, get you inside as well. As far as there. Ow! Dickhead. Up to you. 50% chance. Eight, seven. And uh, very seven. Pretty much 50 50. It's a bit sad. Now. So. I think there we can. Um, something can be summoned from there, right? That's how the summoners work by the trash and stuff. Um, you. 6% chance to hit him. Missed, okay. And then. Okay, 6 damage. Let's go hit him. Oh, just 6 damage, that's not good. To there. You don't have any more. Oh, there's another guy there. The depth. Oh, and the guy there. Not gonna be good for a shot. Uh, sort of pop, I don't think. Okay, you missed. You missed wherever you're shooting at. Oh, you're shot all the way over there. Okay. Right, sort of pop. After him, and then again, okay, good. Okay. Want you to move there and then shoot into him. Oh, shit. Good. Okay, missed. Right. You after this dude. Minus one AP, good. Okay. Is he dead? No, he's not. Oh, he's, he's asleep. I thought he was kind of hanging in the air, kind of uh, possessed style or something. Right. You shoot this guy. Dead. There. You go here. Missed. Okay, fine. Um, go here. Try and finish that guy off. There we go. And he had something we can take as well. Where the hell is she going? run away. What's going on, Shannon? I will now summon the spirit. Okay. Forgotten souls. Right, let's talk to them. Actually, what we'll do is, I think we'll do the talking next episode, because I think we're over time. So, hope you've enjoyed, and hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left or perhaps you might even share with some friends